All right, this morning I uh, am back on the horse. I was going to start my new project, but I was looking at my clay last night, and there's something that's been bothering me for several weeks now about it, and I realized something's wrong with the heads of the horse. And uh, I found out what it is. Uh, I found the uh, initial uh, layout for the horse that I did to scale uh, that I wanted to work with. And then I took a measurement of the ho head of the horse and it was three inches from the back of the head to the front of the uh, mouth. And I measured the uh, horses on uh, the piece that I've been working on and they were two inches. <laughs> I'm a whole inch off. So, you know, no matter how many years I've been doing this, uh, mistakes can still be made. So I'm going to re rectify that by redoing the heads of those two horses. At least that's how I'm going to start it. And I've got my uh, life-size uh, actual uh, horse skull that uh, I use just for shaping the skull. Uh, the muscles are real close to the surface of the skull and uh, so it determines a lot about the uh, personality of the horse's face. All right, everybody, I'll be right back after I get started putting clay on here. <laughs> Mistakes can be made. Time to play with some clay. What I do is I already placed the eyes where uh, they're going to be in the head. Um, this is the uh, scaled drawing of the uh, skull. And you can see I've got the skull worked out there. So I'm going to work around those uh, eyes, which I've uh, made it look like a cross. But uh, just going to try to get that worked out so I can start uh, working on the skull. The key is just to be patient and to take it one step at a time. It really helps to have an actual skull in front of you to work from. Hmm. I should make eyeballs for this thing out of that uh, self-hardening clay. I think I'm going to do that. Different breeds of a horse have different shaped skulls and proportions. This happens to be a Mustang. 
that a friend of mine sent me from Oregon. All right, as you can see, I've made four eyeballs out of this uh, special clay that uh, I ordered off of Amazon. Can't remember the name of it. It's not on the pack on on the uh, bag that I got the clay in, but I'll uh, put a, a name name here on the video. Uh, it hardens within about 24 hours and I do this only because I want to be able to work around the eye without distorting the uh, eyeball that I put in the skull. Okay, this is taking longer than I thought it was going to take. But it's getting there getting the portions just right is interesting now I gotta match the texture and the the uh, format of the rest of the clay which means I'm going to be putting the clay on rather roughly but I want to get the skull at least roughed in correctly so that I'm not having it distorted I cover doing a horse's head in an instructional video that I've got that uh, shows me working on a horse head all by itself. And uh, I go into great detail there that I won't be going into on my videos here because I'm not going to do something that somebody else's page to view but uh, some years ago I created a horse head and it was a great one it's still sitting up on my shelf up there but uh, yeah you really have to get the bone structure just right before you can actually put the uh, muscles on now you may know, and I'm telling you, there's there's sculptors out there who do an amazing job. And uh, some of them own horses. I don't own horses, so I have to be a little more technical. But their horses are just amazing. I am by far not the best sculptor of horses. I really do have to rely on my reference a lot.
Well, I'm going to have to call it quits for today. I was hoping to get a little further along, but doing this, this small, and uh, and this is not quite as small as I was doing before, but uh, it just takes time, and I'm going to have to call it quits uh, because of the time of the day it is. But I'll come back and work on it tomorrow. It's probably going to take me until next week to get this to where I like it. With both skulls. I wish I'd have cut this back when I first did the skulls. That would be a lot easier. So until next time, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> From my studio to yours, I say good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.